I love this dessert. It is so much fun. It's, let's see, I have to work over here, right? I'm gonna move this aside, keep this over here. It is so much fun, it looks fantastic, and it's simple. I like to um, work on a pan, I need a piece of foil. You've gotta put this in the freezer. Okay, doesn't have to be completely on the pan because we're gonna bring it up around the sides. Um, we're gonna start with just some uh, hot fudge topping. Get that in there. And I said two containers of Cool Whip. I did buy an, a 16 ounce one. So we're gonna use half of it in this and half of it to um, ice the ice cream sandwiches. I don't know why I didn't open that beforehand. So we've got our half a cup of fudge topping and we're gonna use half of the Cool Whip, or uh, whip topping rather. I'm gonna save the rest to ice it. I'm gonna get that mixed up. You're gonna love this. And make sure that your uh, whip topping is thawed, not frozen, because then it won't stir in as well. We're going to uh, chop up some cookies. You only need about eight of them. Four. Okay. So you have the rest of the package to eat. And it's just coarsely chopping them, so you don't need to put them in a uh, food processor. It really doesn't matter how finely they're chopped. I just kind of want to... They sort of disappear in the mixture. To this, let's get our cookies out of the way. We're going to add our chocolate our chocolate uh, pudding mix, and we're just going to add this dry so we don't need any milk or if you're not making the pudding, you're just going to add that to the Cool Whip in the hot fudge. That's stirred up. Now it gets kind of thick, but that's kind of the way you want it. When you get that pretty well mixed up, throw in the cookies. Put that in there. And the Cool Whip will soften up the cookies a little bit. All right, so we've got this mixture. Now to put the cake together. And we've got our plain whip topping. We need a box of ice cream sandwiches. One box of 12 ice cream sandwiches. This is so fun. This is a great thing to take someplace. In fact, I almost thought about not doing it tonight and saving it for next week when you're getting ready to go to a 4th of July party. But it was just too good. I couldn't wait. Okay. Now, you... The only bad thing is if you only buy a box of 12, you can't eat any. You, if you buy the 24, then you're okay. But you, can't, you, have, you need every one of these ice cream sandwiches for this cake. We're just going to put them side by side. Nope, this is the regular size. It takes longer to open all these than it does 
Then we're going to take half of this mixture, which is like a mousse now. And you're just going to spread it on the ice cream sandwiches. You really don't want it to overlap too much. I'm going to have a spreader here. Because when you ice it with the uh, um, whipped topping, you don't want it to kind of ooze out. All right. All the corners. Okay. Four more ice cream sandwiches. And if you wanted to change this and make this a strawberry one, or I think um, you can buy some uh, ice cream sandwiches in like Neapolitan, I would just not put the um, hot fudge topping in, just mix the pudding with the Cool Whip. So we've got our eight ice cream sandwiches. I'm going to put this on top of that. And our last four ice cream sandwiches. That's why you can't eat any, because you can't can't get by with three on the top. Oh, well, maybe you, maybe you could. Then we take our Cool Whip and we ice the entire thing. This is so good. You're going to be so surprised. It's going, to be rich. it's going to be rich and it's going to be fun and people are going to go, oh, this is so good. Now, how did you make those tiny little wafer chocolate cookies? And then that's when you say, well, it's an old family secret. <laughs> I spent the entire day in the kitchen making that just so I could bring it to your 4th of July party. Right, there you go. You could do that. Let's turn it around so I can get this sign. So you want to make sure that you ice the whole thing so you sort of hide the look of the ice cream sandwiches on the outside. And then you can just do the little whippy things in. Okay. Okay. This is done. We're going to, it makes it a little bit easier to slice if we put it in the freezer for a little bit. And I, to protect it, I like to, that's what we have the foil here. Bring that up without destroying it too much. I don't think I'm doing a good job here. Okay. Ta-da! Now, the best part of this... Ooh, and cuts nice. And you can see... Let's see, I'm going to slop that down. You can see how beautiful that is. Is that not the best? Yes. I think that is the best. And you really cannot tell that that's ice cream sandwiches. 